have a factual business to purge your students. As Ron said here, my name is Sam O'Neill and I'm 22 years old from the small town of Balladrine on the Mayo Westbound border. I'm currently in, a ter in my third year of Bachelor of Business and I've been class rep for the last two, three years. Uh, if I'm coming across as nervous, it's because I am. I'm not a robot, I'm a normal student like everyone here wanting to run for Vice President and Welfare Officer this year. I feel that I have gained and improved upon the necessary skills that are needed to be successful in this position. My manifesto is available around the college and online and all of my proposals I have put forward, not one of them is greater than the other. They all carry equal importance. I sent out a survey earlier this year asking people to review GMIT and its student union and I've got a lot of feedback from that that I've put into my manifesto. One of the main reoccurring points that I received was that the student union itself seems to be more of a click these days than anything else. And one of the main things I want to do with an elected Vice President Welfare Officer is to do away with this. But the first way of doing this is get rid of the welfare and entertainment hoodies because this can be intimidating to people who do not have them and they feel that they are not part of the team if they do not have one of these hoodies. So that's one of the first things I would do. Continuous recruitment drives throughout the year should be in place so that more people are encouraged to join the student union. This year, SU Connect well, uh, campaigns were ran to try and get more people into the student union. Why should it be that these are ran one week or two weeks throughout the year? This should be a current year-long campaign to try and get as many people as possible involved in the student union. I would also like to add an Erasmus rep to the student union, to the student union executive. Some of the most nice people I've met are Erasmus students, and I feel that they can bring their own experiences from their own student union to ours to, to benefit our own union. SU states that class reps are collectively responsible for deciding the policy of the student union. To me, this should mean that class reps are the most important people to the student union, and I feel that this is not the case in the current structure. Having been a class rep for the last three years, I feel I can speak on this behalf. I think that attendance should be taken at class rep meetings and there should be a number of, 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 of meetings you must attend to receive the benefits from being a class rep, such as the, the class rep hoodies. Too many people get these hoodies and then they're, they're just used as class reps and I, I'm very passionate on this subject. Class rep elections should be ran by student union members, i.e. the liaison officer Adrian Durr who was, elected, who was given the job this year. I feel that it's the only fair way to get good class reps and class reps to drive the student union forward. I believe there's a number of points to make education in GMIT better. Exams should be placed before Christmas instead of after Christmas, which would happen this year. Timetables should also be available online so people can access them outside of college instead of having to come into the library to get them. The results also should be placed in a new band system online. I've spoken with a number of lecturers on this subject and they fully support my, my beliefs on this, on this subject. I also propose that when timetables are being drawn up, every effort is made that there's not a lot of students that have classes after 2 o'clock. There should be little to none after 2 o'clock so people can catch buses in time and get home safely and securely. The issue of welfare, I feel, can be improved in a number of ways. Too many times we hand out flyers to students for different campaigns that are just thrown in the bin a few minutes later. I feel that running different videos on the screens throughout the college is a good way to get the point across. I would also introduce new campaigns such as a Healthy Living Week, which would encourage students to get involved actively with, actively with some of the, the sports which are in, which are in the college. I also feel that a multicultural week should be introduced considering GMIT has so many different cultures in, presently in the college. This year's events week, was which replaced the, the old rag week, was very successful, but I believe it can be improved upon. Bigger acts should be booked and there should be more emphasis on um, nights where you don't necessarily have to drink lots of amounts of alcohol. A large comedy night, I feel, would be would very beneficial in this in this area for people who play sports or can't drink, etc. More of a focus should be on charity in the second week. 
I feel that during the first week there was a lot of emphasis on charity and because people were hungover and people were drinking during the day, they did not contribute to these charity events. I feel a tag rugby tournament in the second week would be very ben beneficial and would raise a lot of money. In my opinion, the sport teams are what raise the profile of this college and there's not enough support given to them so far. If, if elected, I would look to, to introduce a leave of absence sheet for every sport team within the college that is widely accepted by all lecturers. I would also look to introduce that the, the training pitch is, is astroturf. As spo I spoke with the GAA development officer and a lot of the footballers and the hurlers and they have agreed that it's overly used and it's in bits. So surely an astroturf will combat the effects of overuse. The Kingfisher team also has a great team in place which allows students to use its facilities for 9 months for 200 euro. I also feel that I would, I would like to keep this deal as it's a great deal and I, can, I don't think it can be, can be better. Some of my general points are: I'd like to, I'd like to construct, sorry, I'd, I'd like to construct um, a smoking area which is sheltered to stop people getting soaked and they run out for a bag between classes. Because at this stage, it's a joke to be honest with you. The fight against fees, fees increases and the grant cuts also has to be continued. But I'm not going to stand up here and promise you that I'm going to do this. It's one of my main promises. Surely to God, as Vice President and Welfare Officer, that should be one of your main points in the job. And I would love to continue this with the best of my ability. So on 29th March, I urge everybody to get out there and vote Sam number one for Vice President and Welfare Officer. If you can't give me number one, give me number two. I'm the best person for the job, the most hard working out of all the candidates. And I will do my best if elected. Thanks very much. Awesome.